Okay, so just when you're ready, we'll just come into a comfortable lying position. If you've got a block today, we are going to do a few forward folds, so you might need one, but if you've not got one, don't worry. So just coming down onto your mat, get yourself comfortable. And then just beginning the practice with a deep inhale. So you can fill up with as much air as you can. And then exhaling everything out. So through your mouth if you feel that's comfortable. Do that once more. So inhaling through your nose. And then letting everything out of your mouth. As you come to the end of that, we're just going to start to breathe in and out through your nose. Take your time to go to your lips. Breathing in and out through both nostrils. Allowing your breath to smooth out. Take a moment just to come away from your day and begin to draw your attention inwards. As your breath begins to smooth out, just starting to notice your body and just how it feels this morning. You can Release any tightness or tension that you might be feeling. And give your body permission to relax. So our practice today is starting with the chakras. So we're going to start with the root chakra, which is our chakra of belonging. And you can imagine the chakras as, as wheels which spin round and move energy up to our torso and up to our head. The root chakra is at the base of our spine, so kind of the last three vertebrae, and also moving into the pelvic floor a lot as well. Just trying to be mindful of that chakra as we practice the day and to try and just make sure that we're paying attention to it and hopefully allowing it to feel a little bit unwell. So we're going to begin just by bending your knees here and draw your knees towards your chest. So using your hands just on top of your knees, we'll very gently start to circle the hips around, so just in one direction. And as you do this, just starting to be aware of where that chakra is. So at the base of your spine, you might feel it kind of touching and then releasing from the mat. And then start to change direction to go the other way. So often if our root chakra is blocked in any way, it can either lead us to be ungrounded, so really kind of flighty and not being able to settle at anything, or it can have the opposite effect and have us so we're kind of stuck in a rut. So we'll start to release the legs, move them back so your knees are over your hips. We're just going to do a little activation of your core here. So you can have your arms by your side, maybe press your lower back down. And as you inhale, we're just going to stretch your right leg away. So maybe it goes down towards the mat a little bit. And then as you exhale, draw it back in. And then we'll just change sides. So just gently starting to invite in a little bit of heat to the center of your body. You'll feel that root chakra kind of pressing down or getting pressed down as you extend your leg. If you feel this is too much, you're always aiming your feet up towards the ceiling, or maybe keep your leg bent as it goes down towards the ground. But follow your breath, breathing in and breathing out. Okay, let's take two more of these, so just take your time. So 
you should come into the center of the step. So I'm still going to keep the knees here. You might want to squeeze your knees and your feet together. Maybe spread your arms to the side and start to move side to side. As you inhale, just bring the legs across to one side a little bit. Exhale back into the center and then move the other way. Again, we're just kind of rolling through that root chakra, just activating it. Just checking that it is not blocked in any way. We'll do one more of these. As you come towards the right side, we are going to lay our legs all the way over to the right. Start to about lean them down towards the mat. You can keep your head towards the ceiling or maybe turn it towards the left side. You ready? Inhale towards the center. And let's just go the other way. So all the way over to the left. Keeping the head where it is or turning it if you like. And you're ready slowly back towards the middle. So just join your knees towards your chest. Hands this time put behind the back of your thighs. So either rolling onto your side or rolling back and forwards just a couple of times. And start to make your way up. So as you come up, we are going to sit in Sukhasana or easy pose. So you could use a block or a blanket underneath your hips here if you want. I'm going to move a little bit. So just if it feels uncomfortable, then away. So sitting upright as much as you can. We're going to place the hands just onto your knees. So we are going to circle round here. So if you leave with your left shoulder, so just draw it forwards. Start to move forwards and then start to circle back. So breathing another way forwards and breathing out as you go back. Okay, and you can use your hands here. You can move a little bit bigger or smaller. It's really up to you. Again, just being aware of your connection towards the ground here. So through your hips, through that root chakra. Let's make our way towards the middle. And as you come in, we're going to take your right hand towards the side. You can stretch out a little bit more if you'd like to, and then reaching up and over, so through your left fingertips. So maybe try and get that stretch through the side of your body as you do that. And you could bend your elbow a little bit, but press down, so through your left sit bone. And then you're ready on an inhale. Just move back up again. We change the cross of your legs here. So just bring your other foot in front. And then we'll start to circle around the other way. So again, sitting upright. We'll move with the right shoulder. So just start to circle that round. And again, perhaps leaning back a little bit as you move back. But breathing in and breathing out, just keeping the breath even. And smooth. And when you're ready, we'll start to come back in towards the middle. So as you come in towards the centre, we'll take your left hand down. So again, perhaps a little bit further away. If you bend your elbow and push the arm up and over. Start to feel as if you could breathe more into the right side of your body. So inviting in a little bit more breath. And let's move back towards the middle. Now this time with your feet, we're going to bring the soles of your feet together. So we're going to come into Vajakonasana. So we're still warming up through the spine here. And this is kind of a, a, a kind of an undulation move. You want to kind of move forwards and back a little bit. So hands on the legs, on your ankles or on your feet. And as you inhale, we're going to try and stretch forward to your spine. So not necessarily down, but try and lengthen forward a little bit. And then as you exhale, we're going to lift up, round your back, and then tuck your pelvis under, so we kind of round back a little bit more. So inhale, start to move forward. So again, pull your chest forward, so we lift up a little bit. 
And then as you exhale, start to move back and rounding through your spine. So just start to feel that movement in a slightly different way. So we'll do that again. So inhale, lengthening forwards, lift your chest a little bit, kind of like a little bit like a cobra. And then exhale, rounding back like that in the cat pose. Let's do that once more. So inhale. And then exhale. Well done. Slowly back towards the center with your chest and then extend both legs out in front of you. So sitting tall and upright, we're going to come into Dandasana. So again, a really grounding pose. We want to be sitting kind of on that root chakra. So you might need to pull the fleshy parts away. We're going to lengthen through our upper body and lengthen through our legs. You can always bend the knees here, but I would keep a little flexion on your feet. And then placing your hands just by your sides, start to draw the shoulder blades up. You can bring the head so that it's kind of aligned so your chin should be lifted a little bit and um, the crown of the head aligns with the base of your spine. So this kind of long stretched out feeling, a really grounded feeling in this posture. And we're going to take one more inhale. We're going to come into a forward fold here but we want to kind of keep this sensation especially in the lower body. So you inhale will stretch up and then on the exhale, we'll fold forward. So just towards your legs, again, bending into the knees, hands on the floor or your legs, your ankles or your feet. Just see how that feels. Bending the knees as much as you need to. Keep thinking about stretching your spine forwards here. So we're not necessarily going that down that much. Take one more inhale. When you're ready, slowly start to move back up again. Take your time. Now we're going to move to all fours now. So we'll just start to bring ourselves around, just onto your hands and onto your knees. Now, as you come in, just placing your hands under your shoulders, knees under hips. We'll just do a few cat cow movements here. So as you inhale, just drop your belly and start to pull forward through your chest. And then on that exhale, tuck tailbone under, so rounding your back, taking the mat away, up the chin in. Start to move through it with your own breath. Okay, let's take one more of these, so just take your time. And just when you're ready, Come back in towards the center. So we're going to have our belly pulled in. We're going to step the right foot just up towards the top of your mat. So take your time. So one hand either side of the right foot first and maybe slide your left leg back. You are going to turn round here. So if you do get confused, do not worry. It, it will become clearer if we do more of them. So we're going to move both of your hands to the inside of your right foot. Good. Now from there, we're going to walk your hands so round as if we're going towards the left foot. But as you do that, you're going to straighten your right leg. And with your left foot, you're going to turn it round so it goes to the, towards the back of your mat. So we kind of come into gate pose. You might need to stretch your right leg even further away from you. The inside of your right foot could be on the mat here. And then from here, you could keep your hands just directly under your shoulders. If you want a little bit more, you're going to walk your hands out towards the front. And you could come into kind of like a down dog position, or if you want a bit more, walk your hands further forwards and then see if you can press your chest down. So we come more into that heart melting pose, just whatever suits you. We will take one more inhale, start to lift yourself back up if you're down and walk your hands back towards your knees. And then from here, we're going to walk to the right again. So just start to walk your hands around, turn the right toes and bend the right knee. And your left leg should just come right by itself as you come back into this lunge. Now we're going to keep in this lunge. Um, we're going to step back with our right leg. And as you step back, you're going to lower your chest down. So you, if your knees are directly underneath your hips, you might need to move them back a little bit, which will make it easier. 
and then just bending your elbows lower your chest all the way down keeping your elbows close in as you inhale start to draw the shoulders back and lift your chest up a little bit and on the exhale we'll just release all the way back down as you inhale push up through your hands we're going to push all the way back into a child's pose here to keep the hips pressing back and then just rest down there Just breathing deeply. And the color of the root chakra or maladar chakra is red. So if you want to any point, you can kind of bring that into your vision. I think that helps us to concentrate on it if we know what color it is. When you're ready, move back, so towards the center. Now, again, coming into all fours, we are just going to circle round here, so you might move round through your wrist, and then send your hips back towards your heels and circle there. So again, we're just moving up and over and down and round. So as you move, if you want it bigger, then just move more over your wrists, and maybe you can take your hips all the way back towards your heels. Not essential, but you can. When you're ready, we're going to change directions and just circle in the other way. Breathing in and breathing out. When you're ready, come back up towards the middle. So again, draw your belly in. We're going to step the left foot forward, so we're going to do it on the other side. So left foot steps in, and then using your hands, maybe you slide that right leg further back. So both hands to the inside of your left foot, and then start to walk around. So we're walking our hands towards the right side. As you do that, we straighten through the left leg, turn the toes of your right leg, and we come into this gate pose. Now, there might be some adjustment in your legs, so you need to maybe do that. So hands under the shoulders, or start to walk the hands out. So just to kind of a downward dog feeling, or maybe a bit further, and press your chest down. Walk. Heels right to your feet. Okay, when you're ready, slowly start to move back up, walk your hands back so towards your legs, and then we'll start to walk around towards the left again. So as you come around, you turn the toes, you re bend the left leg, and that right leg should hopefully spin right by itself. So once more, we'll step back, so with our left leg. So knees a little bit further back to come into this little kind of half chaturanga. So we're gonna bend our elbows, lower down towards the ground. Inhale, lift your chest up, so just peel it up off the ground. Exhale, slowly release down. And when you're ready, start to press through your hands again. Bend your knees and push back to that child's pose. Your time to move in, in your own way. Then you're ready. Start to move forwards. So we're going to come forwards to all fours, but we are going to move into downward dog. So this is our first down dog of practice. So. We'll tuck the toes and lift the hips. And as you come into that, again, maybe back to bend through one knee. And then bend through the other. Edling out your feet a little bit. So the idea with this root chakra practice is it's a, a grounding practice. And when we do grounding, if you remember, it's, it's trying to get the sense of not just sinking into the ground, but trying to use the ground to kind of lift up from so particularly with our hands, because we put a lot of strain on the heel of our hand and our wrist, to try and get that sensation of using all of your fingers, which will help. So all of the kind of tips of your fingers help you. And also to get a sensation of pushing up and out of your shoulders. So the weight is not necessarily all forwards, but we direct it up towards that root chakra and then down the legs. Okay, let's take one more inhale. So we're going to move forward. So we will lift the heels, look forwards, and just take a little walk up towards the top of your mat when you're ready. 
So as you get there, you can unplug your hands. You can fold forwards and have your hands on the ground or on a block. So use that, or maybe you just place your hands on your legs for the moment. Just whatever feels best. So again, try and spread your toes. And we have to use our belly here. So we're drawing that pelvic floor up. So we're lifting it up so that we don't strain to our back. Now, if you've got your arms clasped in anything here, release them and then bend your knees more so that maybe you could get your belly or your chest resting onto your thighs. So you're just kind of folding in. Now, as you inhale, we're going to come up like kind of like a rag doll. So we're going to push through your feet, roll and rise up. So as if you were restacking your spine. As you come up to the top, we'll inhale and reach. And on the exhale, with a little bit of force, we're going to come back down. So and really bending the knee. So let's do that again. So inhale, push through your feet, rising up to your hands. Exhale, let it all go. Okay, let's do that one more time. So inhale, again, rolling and rising up, reaching with the hands. Exhale. Brother. Okay, from here, as you inhale, we're going to lengthen your spine. So we're going to move the hands up the legs and stretch the spine forward. As you exhale, take your hands down and step back with your right leg. So this time we're coming into this kind of runner's lunge position. Now from here, we're going to move the hand to the inside of your left foot. So it's a little bit like we did previously. So you're going to start to think about straightening through your left leg a little bit and turning the left toes so that they come towards that wide edge of your mat. So you come in basically for a wide leg forward pose. Hence, you might need a block. So, you know, use the block or have your hands in your legs. Work with what feels best to you. But, and use the block to give you that sensation of being able to release a little bit into it. So make sure your feet are facing forward, your knees a little bit bent, the hips perhaps getting that little tilt up so the root chakra goes up towards the ceiling. Bam. So now we've got a tricky bit of going back the way. So we're going to walk towards the left, turn your left toes, bend your left leg, and bring your hands either side of your left foot. Very nice. Okay, once you get there, we're going to step to plank. So as you step to plank, if you do want to lower your knees down here, please do. And we're going to bend the elbows, so either to the ground or halfway to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing or cobra. And on the exhale, we'll make our way back. Then we're facing them. Good. Breathing deeply. Maybe take a cleansing breath here. So in through your nose and then just let it all go through your mouth. Okay, when you're ready, we'll lift the heels, looking forwards, either step or walk up towards the top of your mat. Take your time. Good. Okay, when you're ready, inhale, we'll lengthen again. And on the exhale, we'll take our hands then and we'll step back with the left leg this time. So don't worry if you're going to face the back. It's only for a moment or two. So you can come into that lunge position. And again, if you don't want to do the turning into the wide leg forward fold, then don't bother. So moving your hands so to the inside of your right foot this time. And then start to Turn around, so we straighten the leg, we rotate around, we come into that wide leg forward fold. And just releasing down a little bit, using your block if you need to. Toes turning forwards. Yeah, very nice. Hips lifting up and belly pulling in. Well done. Let's take it back round. So start to walk your hands towards the right, turn your right toes, bend your right leg. And we're in this lunge again. Very nice. Okay, let's step back into that plank position on the floor. Again, your choice, knees up or knees down. Bend your elbows so to the ground or halfway. Inhale, upward facing or cobra. And exhale, let's make our way back. Then we're done. Again, any big breath you want to take, take it here. Letting go of any tension or tightness or stretch you might 
Okay, from here we'll move towards the top of your mat, so lifting your heels, looking forwards, just take a walk towards the top of your mat. When you get there, inhale, lengthen to stretch forwards through your spine and folding forwards on the exhale. As you inhale, reaching up and on the exhale, we'll draw the palms together. So just in front of your heart, maybe just taking a moment there, eyes closed and just observing everything that's going on in your body. Well done. Okay, let's release the hands and open the eyes. So we're going to come in for our balance now. So today it is a chair or a half chair and an option within the half chair as well. So if you do want to use the wall, probably best to be with your back against it, but you don't want to have your bottom pressing because you, you are obviously coming into a chair. So you need to have that wall kind of behind you and you don't have to do any of that. So let's start separating our feet hip distance apart. If you do want to bring your feet together for your chair position, then do that as well. And then when you're ready, and you might need a block because I'll give you an option of folding forwards, but you don't have to necessarily. So you would just have it kind of near you. So when you're ready, we're going to inhale, we're going to bend the knees and we're going to reach the arms. So we're coming into our chair position. Again, with the option of bringing your hands towards the center of your chest if this feels too much. So you can stay here. If you want to come in for the half chair, we'll bring your hands towards your chest. And we're going to take the weight onto your right leg. So your left leg, you could lift it up, maybe placing it onto your shin. If you need to keep it down to the ground, then do. But if you can, flex it and take it onto your thigh. So as you do that, the foot flexes and the knee pushes back a little bit. And then you might just bend through your right leg and hold here. So only if you wanted to do the fold forwards, would you take your hands onto this leg? And again, when you start to move forward in this pose, you actually tilt the pelvis up the way, so not down. So at the moment it's down, but if you want to go further down towards the ground, the root shaft actually points up, and then you could place your hands onto your block or onto the ground. Again, it's not essential, it's not necessary for you to do that. You can either stay here or if you're quite happy, just take it and any other variation. Okay, but steady your gaze, nice even breath. Let's take one more inhale. Slowly, if your hands are down, lift them up. And then if you bring your hands towards the center, we'll start to lift up and release the legs. So bring your feet and your hands together and just take a moment there just focusing on the sensations in your body come back into your breath okay let's give it a shot on the other side so again if you're coming in for cheer feet together or apart November, you can stay in chair. So we'll bend the knees, we'll reach the arms, relax the shoulders a little bit, weight is back into your heels. So if you're coming in to try that half chair, then bring your hands to the center. We'll stand on the left leg, we'll lift the right heel up, and then maybe the right foot. And again, if you want to keep on the ground, do maybe bring it onto your shin or maybe flex your foot, bring it onto that left thigh and just start to sink down. To your hips. So find a steady gaze. Your breath nice and even. So if you want to stay with that, please do. If you'd rather try taking your hands down, then you can. Again, think about bringing that root chakra up a little bit. And if you do want to go further down, maybe you grab a block and take your hands there. But just what feels best? What is the right position for you? And when you're there, is your breath still even? Is your gaze still steady and constant? Okay, well, let's come back up. So if you're down, move yourself back up onto your leg or bring your hands to the same time. And then releasing the feet, bring the feet together and the hands together. 
things are at. Okay, let's release the hands and open the eyes. So we are going to come in for some standing postures. You might need your block, so just keep it handy. We will be doing another one of these wide leg forward folds. So you know, just use it if you need to. We're going to come up towards the top of your mat. So we will do one sun salutation, so you can either modify it. But if you'd like to leave it out, then just step back with your left foot into a high crescent lunge position. So feet together, or apart, lengthen the legs, try and get that sense of grounding through your feet. And your root chakra, the tailbone, points down so it's not kind of tucked around. So as you inhale, we'll reach up, so maybe look at your thumb. And on the exhale, folding forwards, take your time. Lengthen forwards on the inhale. And on the exhale, we'll step back with your right leg, so just into that high, Crescent lunge position. No, we're going to step back with both feet. <laughs> I forgot we're doing a sun salutation. So both legs back, one to front as well. Knees down or bend your elbows. So it's up to you. Inhale, upward facing or cobra. And exhale back, downward facing dog. So now, this time, we're going to step forwards with your right leg. So again, into that high lunge position. So your front knee bends, and then if you'd like to lift your chest up, you can. And in this one, if you do want to keep your back knee down, you could do that. So as we come into this high lunge, we're going to bring the arms up and maybe release your shoulders a little bit. So the tailbone down, so that root chakra presses down. We're grinding through our feet with that sensation of rising up. Finding that steady gaze. And just being aware of your breath. And let's take one more inhale. We're going to open to warrior two here. So we're going to spin through the heel of your back leg. Heel goes down. And then open up through your chest. So you may need to adjust your feet a little bit. So the knee is over the ankle on the front leg. We're squeezing strongly into that glute on your left leg. And we're looking along your front hand. So just holding and breathing, using that even balance between our feet. And getting a sensation of rising up out of the ground. Okay, let's take one more inhale. Now we're going to straighten through your right leg here. So you can just straighten out a little bit and then turn your right toes so towards the long edge of your mat. So we're going to move into our wide leg forward fold. So as you inhale, stretch your arms up. And then on the exhale, release the hands. So maybe towards your thighs here. And you can lengthen through your spine. If you do want to come further down, we've got a block, then you can place your hands on the block. If you can, take your hands down towards the mat, then do that. And today, if you want to, you can either walk your hands forward, like we did before in that kind of gate pose, or maybe you choose to walk them back towards your feet. Really up to you. What, what is the best position for you? What feels right to you? And we are going to be doing this posture twice. So you could do, you know, one with your hands forward, one with your hands back. See how it feels. You can also do both with your hands forward or back up to you. Or on a block. Now, when you're ready, start to move your hands so they're more towards the center. And again, if you've got your hands on the block, that is fine. From there, we're going to turn the toes out. So both of your feet turn out the way. And then see if you can lift your hands just onto your thighs. So we're lifting them up. As you come up onto your thighs, we're just going to kind of sway a little bit side to side. So just, just really loosening off in the hips a little bit. See how that feels. And then from there, come back into the center with your hips and lift your chest up. So we're moving into a goddess pose. So hands to the center of your chest is an option. If you want to stretch your arms out to the sides, then do that. Or maybe 
you want to reach your arms up. Try and make sure that your shoulders stay over your hips, wherever your arms are, doesn't matter, but shoulders over hips. Good, toes turning out. At root chakra, the hips dropping down a little bit. Now then, we'll just take one more inhale. When you're ready, bring your hands to the center and then straighten through both of your legs. If that should feel pretty good. Turn your toes of your right foot, so up towards the top edge of your mat again. And then we bend your right leg and release your hands down towards the ground, turning on the toes of your left leg as you do that. Now from here, we're going to move the hands to the inside of your right foot. Don't worry, we're not doing that turning about <laughs> again. But you're going to move your right foot out to the right edge of your mat, as far out as you can. And then if you want to, we're coming in from Malasana here or Yogi Squat. So we'll turn the toes of your right foot out a little bit. So pick the toes up and turn them out. So we are going to try and step up towards the top of your mat with your left foot. So we bend the back leg and you might hop it a couple of times and then come in. As you come in, if you want to, you can take your hands just on your legs again. So similar to that move where we're moving side to side. If you can manage, you could start to release the hands down so they come more onto your forearms. You can use a block here. So if anybody wants to, you can sit on the block. And it actually is surprisingly comfortable as you come into it. You know, work where you can. If you're quite happy in Malasana, then sit in it with the hips down and the chest lifting. But just work where you can. We'll not stay here very long. But nothing lasts forever. Okay, let's take one more inhale. Now slowly, hands to the mat. Straighten your legs a little, but just as much as you need to. Turn your toes forwards. And then you could fold forwards. Again, if you're happier with your knees and feet closer in, then walk them in. If you're quite happy with them wider, then widen them. Okay, from here, we're going to make our way back up again. So you can draw your belly in. Just roll and rise all the way up. Take your time. Maybe reaching up the arms when you get there. And bring your hands towards the center of your chest. Well done, very nice. Okay, let's try that on the other side. So we'll just come up towards the top of your mat again. So again, we'll do one sun salutation to move into. Using your blocks if you need to, so bring them with you. Okay. So when you're ready, feet together or apart, lengthen the legs, belly in, and as you inhale, we'll reach up. On the exhale, folding forward, so bending your knees. As you inhale, lengthen, so stretch the spine out. And on the exhale, with the hands down, we'll step to plank. So again, once you get there, knees down, knees up, and bend your elbows. Inhale, upward facing or cobra. Exhale back, then we're done. Very nice, okay. Let's move forward with your left leg, so to that high lunge. So step it forwards. Either keep your back knee down, or if you've got it lifted, lift your chest up. And again, make sure you feel that your feet are in the right position. So you can always widen them a little bit. Maybe reach the arms and release the shoulders. Maybe take your wrists back a little bit if you feel like you want to, but start to sense that root chakra. So the tailbone down, not arching the back, the belly is in and nice and strong. And the breath is even. Okay, we'll take one more inhale. So we'll open it to warrior two. Take your time, spin the heels, start to move round. And you might need to make some adjustments with your feet and your legs. Re release the shoulders a little bit, so draw them back, open your chest. Then your gaze along your front hand. And keep a balance between your feet, so we're not leaning forwards, leaning back, we're staying in the center of the posture and the root chakra faces down. OK, 
Okay, let's take one more inhale. So when you're ready, slowly start to straighten through your front leg again. Turn the left toes in. It's from there, we'll reach up with the arms and we'll fold forwards. So again, take your time moving in, lengthen your spine, hands down to blocks or the floor. And if you had your hands forward this time, maybe you start to think about moving your hands back. So kind of in line with your feet, perhaps. But do what feels right. So what is the position that you can come into, that you can stay in for a moment or two? You can find some sense of ease in it. You bend your legs. Remember, even in this forward fold, we're still lifting the pelvic floor, we're still tilting that root chakra up towards the ceiling as we lift. So if your hands are back or your hands are forward, walk them towards the centre. As you come in, turn the toes out again. So both the feet turn out and move your hands back up onto your thighs. So as you come back up, just that gentle sway again, just moving side to side. And then let's make our way into our goddess pose. So lift the chest up, bring your hands to the center, reach them out, reach them up, whatever feels the best position for you. And then this time, while we're here, we're going to see if we can lift our heels up. So take an inhale, we'll lift the right heel, and then maybe through your left heel. Again, just see how that feels. As you do that, try and keep the hips pretty still, so they're not moving side to side, but we're just lifting and lowering. If you want to, and you can, you could lift both of your heels up at the same time, and then lower them down. Again, try not to tilt forwards too much. Let's do that twice more. And then maybe on this one, we lift and hold. So just lifting up and holding, just breathing deeply. Now done. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, two, and one. Release down. Good. Okay, straighten your legs. Feel quite good again. So turn your left toes so up towards the top edge of your mat. We bend your leg, releasing your hands all the way down towards the mat and turn on the toes of your back knee. So once more, we'll walk the hands to the inside of that left foot. We'll move the left foot, so all the way to the left. And as you get there, maybe pick up the toes and turn the toes out. So once more, we're stepping forwards to Malasana. So bending the back leg, pop it in or walk it in or whatever you need to. Turn both toes out. So again, hands on your thighs, if that's more appropriate. Lowering down maybe to the block or taking it down to your hips. Sink down, the chest lifts a little bit. And keep your breath nice and even. Well done. So we are going to make our way to the mat. So if you can take your hands down, you can sit down and then do that. If you find that too much, then straighten your legs a little bit again, turn your toes in, and then come down onto your knees. And then have a little seat to the front. So as you sit, we're going to come into a wide leg forward fold. So we've done a few wide leg um, positions today, so we're going to continue on the ground. So the legs are going to go wide, the knees right bend. Again, we want it to feel grounded, so maybe either sit on a block or move the fleshy parts away. And flex your feet a little bit, just helps to control it. Like, so even if your knees are bent, you can still flex your feet. So when you're ready on an inhale, we'll stretch up with the arms. On the exhale, we'll fold forward. So I might just mean you just bring your hands in front. If you can come further forwards, then release yourself down. And you can use your blocks here so you could build a little structure and place your forearms on. Maybe you can use the block and rest your head onto it. Really up to you. And then try and get that sense of softening here. Where can you release tension to allow it to feel more at ease? Not so we unconsciously hold on to tension, so maybe just scanning your body, 
And it might not even be in the area you're stretching, it might just be in your jaw or your face. Sometimes you hold a lot of tension even your shoulders. Okay, when you're ready, start to slowly come up. So walk your hands back. As you come up, we're going to keep your right leg where it is and bend your left leg in. So as you bend it in, if it's quite high, you can always do the block here. If it's okay, let it go down. And then turn towards your right leg. So either hand on the ground beside your leg, on your leg or your ankle, or maybe you can take your foot. And then start to reach your left arm up and over. So coming in for that powerful side stretch here. Keep rotating your chest. Keep breathing. And get that steady gaze or close your eyes. Okay, we'll take one more inhale. Start to rise back up. And then we'll just come in and we'll do the other side. So just stretch your legs back out again and bend into your right leg. Again, use your blocks. Start to rotate a little bit towards that left side and laying your hands wherever it will go. On your leg, your ankle, your foot. And then start to think about reaching up and over with your right arm. So rotating the chest a little bit. Leading into the right side body. Okay, let's take one more inhale. So slowly release back up again. And you can release your legs out towards the front. You can really give them a little shake. Now back then today is Ushtasana or camel pose. If you don't want to come up onto high knees, then definitely stay here and you can just come into a stretch here for your chest. You don't have to bother coming up, but if you can, move your way or make your way up into onto your knees. Your knees are going to be hip distance. You can stay towards the front. I'll just turn around, but you don't want to have this arch in our back. So try and tilt the pelvis so that the root chakra actually faces down. Now the first little bit of this is really just um, more for our, our strength in our back. So we're not going to try and lean far back. You're going to release your arms by your side. Take an inhale. We're going to start to lean back a little bit, so not too far. And then as you exhale, move back up. And any issues with your neck, you can always keep your neck tucked here. So we're just moving back and then rising back up again. So just breathing in again. We're not trying to go far. We're just trying to activate and weaken these muscles a little bit. Let's do that once more and rise back up. As you come back up, we are going to come in for our camel pose. So we're going to take your hands either on your low back or onto your hips. Staying here might be the answer. Okay, so you might just stay here, draw your shoulder blades together, open up through your chest, again, chin tucked or chin untucked. And that might give you this really nice stretch. You want to lean back a little bit, then move back. Maybe move your hands down your leg. You could use blocks here or tucking your toes. Maybe you feel like going down towards your heels and it has to be something that feels pretty easy to do. So not something that it causes you stress or fear when you think about doing it. It's, it's, it should feel like your body's ready for it. And if it is not, then maybe it's just ready for this. Okay, when you're ready, we'll slowly start to move back up. So take your time. Releasing your toes if you have them tucked. And if you can sit in Virasana, which is just taking your bottom back onto your heels, then sit like this. If you would prefer to swing your legs spring to the front, then sit like that. We are just going to do a little stretch or a twist here just to counter that back thing. So we're going to take your left hand just over towards your right thigh somewhere and then take your right hand behind your back. So it might just lay on your back. Maybe you can stretch it round so it comes round and grabs hold of your hip. And then start to gently rotate round towards the right side. Just breathing deeply. Maybe turn your head.
we'll wiggle these to come back to the board to the middle. Let's go the other way. So again, right hand outside of your thigh, left arm behind, maybe coming round towards that right side, and then start to move to the left. Way back towards the middle. As you come in towards the center, we're going to bring our legs in front of us. We are going to roll back here onto your mat. So, with bent legs, make sure you're kind of at the bottom. Hands hook around the back of your thighs. And then we are just going to literally take our time and roll back to draw your belly in, ease yourself onto your mat. Well done. Okay, when you get there, we'll just draw your knees in towards your chest again, just taking a little bit of movement from side to side. So we are going to take a little recline twist here as well. So you can spread your arms like a T-shape. Keep your arm legs in if you'd like. If you want to take them on flat on the ground, do that. Just drop your knees to the right. And then again, if you want to turn your head the other way, then turn it to the left. And you're ready, inhale center, and let's go the other way. Again, feet flat or feet lifted, coming into that twist that's up to you. Turn your head or keep it towards the ceiling. And you're ready, move back towards the middle, draw your knees in. So, any final little movements that you want to take here? So. If you want to circle your knees or come in for a quick happy baby, it's really entirely up to you. So we are going to move into our Shavasana next. So if you do want to grab a jumper, then please pop it on or some socks. And when you're ready, we'll make our way in. Allow your eyes to comfortably close and come down into your breath, into your body, relaxing your belly, softening your mind. Feel the support beneath you. Connect with the ground below. Let it take your weight. Become aware of the sounds around you. Let them be there. Notice the air touching the surface of your body. Notice the light and shade. Sense the sky above and the horizon stretching all the way around you, the earth below supporting you. Allow your mind to empty what no longer needs to hold on to. Let it go, go out and away. Allow your body to release what no longer needs to hold on to. Let it go, go out and away. Draw yourself back from where you've been in your day. Draw your energies back, home to your center. Ground yourself in this moment, 
here. Begin to sense the space around you. Breathe with the space. Become aware of the rise and fall of your breath. It's coming and going. The sensation, sound and temperature. Breathe down to where the weight of your body rests below the base of your spine to your root, your chakra of belonging. Breathe into your root. Let soften and gently expand on your breath, taking in nourishment and life force energy. Allow your root to connect down down to the ground below, deep into the earth and invite in the color red, the color of the earth. Bathe your root with it, red, empowering, embodying, grounding you in the here and now. Let the root take what it needs and perhaps say the words, I am here. I have a right to be here as I am. The earth supports me. When you're ready, we're going to take a deep inhale. So just through your nose and then sigh out your mouth. And you can do that again if you like. So deeply inhale and then just let it go. When you're ready, we'll begin to take some small movements. So through your fingers and your toes. Perhaps stretching your arms over your head, so just taking a full stretch all the way through your body. So you start to bring your arms over, begin to bend the knees. And just taking bigger movements when you're ready. If you'd like to roll over onto your side, you can do that. And then just when you're ready, we can start to make our way up. So take your time. And just find a comfortable seat when you're ready. Bring the hands together to the front of your heart. Just leaving a little gap. Signifying an openness in your heart. So thank you so much for coming along and practicing with me this morning. I hope you enjoyed the root chakra practice that we did. No. Thank you very much, ladies. Well done. I'll just drop this recording.